Now, for someone who just has no clue, what is Monday Prize? Same. <laughs> Same. <laughs> no, I'm not saying. No, no, no. no, no, wait. no, no. I, I have an yeah. idea, yeah. but for someone out there who has yeah. no clue. Right. Um, yeah. This, this is, is a good sign. Not, not so you can't. Do, you, can't do a, you can't. You set a one, two, three count in, and, and then he did like count. a. He did, he like did a whole jazz. A jazz. Jazz. It's like what? I was about to go on the. Yeah. <laughs> because design matters. Exclusive. No more waiting. My flow should be studied forever, like Rome ancients. See, I've been kind of quiet in the back. Maybe it's I'm time that I attack. In the back. He's in the other room. But we're here with. Monday Press, <laughs> y'all y'all want to introduce yourself? Sure. Left to right or right to left? Mm, in the middle. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm a Rono. Uh, Matt. And Evan. And we're Monday Press. Half of it. Yeah, we're half. Half yeah. of it. <laughs> so there's six. There's six. There's like Monday a core press. six, like extended, ten to fifteen. That's a lot. Yeah. 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 It's a uh, community driven. Now, for someone who just has no clue, what is Monday Press? Same. <laughs> no, I'm not saying. No, 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 no. I, I have an yeah, idea, yeah. but for someone out there who has yeah. no clue, right? Um, yeah, like, do you want to? No, you can't. Okay. Well, I mean, so what we started as a poetry collective, but really we're sort of facilitating a bunch of different literary events, um, as well as like creative projects, like we published you know zines and poetry books but we also host a lot of programming in our own spaces we help other people host programming um it's just trying to like facilitate what the community needs now if you had 60 seconds to promote one thing Hmm. or do whatever you want with the 60 seconds and the 60 seconds starts now this camera go man me okay that's 10 seconds um we started we got a billboard and uh, we got a phone number, and me and Evan spent, I don't know, a month working on the phone number. We recorded like a hundred different poems, and you can do the phone number here. Does that work? Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, if you call 365 675 3282, you can have a poem performed to you by a local Hamilton artist. Can I see that garbage? Yeah. So if we call 365. You said no swearing on the air, so be careful. That's kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> you never know what you're going to get. Yeah. It's not my fault if they swear. They never said there was filth on this. <laughs> let's it's see, a filth hotline. Let's see what happens. Turns into like a sex hotline. Welcome to the Monday Press Dial 8 call and directory. Please use your keypad and enter any two-digit number between 01 and 99 and have a poet perform their poem. Yeah, Twenty-three is my favorite number. Oh, that's not time to try again. Can I do that one? Uh, can I have it? Try one more time. <laughs> Tell me a number. Ninety-nine. Ninety-nine to the credits. Zero <laughs> one. You gotta finish the credits. Hold on. Monday Another prompt. Is it prompt? This works. Yeah. That's great. Okay, go now. Zero one. 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 Zero Glacial from the drafty windows, enchanted by the souls of spiders that died a natural death. Room water out of a wine bottle is a perfect pairing for Doritos, Cheetos, and the ice cream sandwich you had for dinner. An ice cream sandwich is a sandwich you had at home, but you don't have to make. It's already made for you. If you would like to hear another there you go. <laughs> so that's sort of like the idea. <laughs> I don't think you understand how important sandwiches are to this show. <laughs> Whoa. Um, yeah. You like Olas? No, I don't know what it is. You don't find Olas Bakery? Olas? It's like oh, James. I do know. Mm-hmm. I haven't yeah. ever been there, though. Oh, uh, you got the Mortadella's great, man. 
Murder Dell is incredible there. It's on the list. Yeah. Is also I keep I keep bringing also. up sandwiches and been in none of the sandwich places in the city, and everybody's like, this spot. I'm like, <laughs> I was like, y'all know Subway? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like, I'm, I'm the sandwich hotline at it's Mr. Sub. <laughs> <laughs> what makes a sandwich a sandwich? Jeez, uh, man, it's, it's about the two um, things and then the one thing in the between the two things. Because it doesn't have to be bread, right? Mm-hmm. You get yeah, two yeah. chicken patties... Put some lettuce, like coleslaw, in between the chicken patties. That's still a sandwich. KFC you're speak- did it. You're speaking my language. Mm-hmm. We're like talking you, the double down. You walk up to the charcuterie board. You take a cracker, piece of meat, cheese, piece yeah. of cracker. Yeah. Cracker sandwich. Cracker sandwich. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Yeah, I, I feel like you you could go there. Mm-hmm. You could go there because it's more about the it's more about like the idea of something being like a vessel, right? Like mm-hmm. you have. You have the vessel for your content, and then you have the content, right? Mm-hmm. So, like, someone could argue that a taco is a sandwich. They do. They do they all do the time. They do argue that, They try right? to tell me a hot dog is a taco, not a sandwich. Somebody could argue that this is a sandwich. A, this ves- is a, a vessel yeah, for the much, content. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sandwich right now. We're content in the vessel, Everything you know? just lines up. Right. Everything lines yeah, yeah, up, yeah. yeah. Real quick, could we get individual opinions on is a hot dog a sandwich? So, yeah, I'm, I'm not, I don't feel I'm it. I'm a yes. You feel it? Yeah, I yeah, feel it. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't really feel like that sometimes. Is it? I, I personally don't feel like that sometimes. I would say no. End of question. Yeah, like not a chance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not it's just, it's just one of those things that's silly, right? Because it's so close. Like, say you split those buns up. Mm-hmm. They're on top of each other. That resembles a sandwich. Like, like how are you going to argue? The subway's bun is connected. That exactly. Connected, that's yeah. my point. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So the submarine that? sandwich? Is a sandwich. You ever had a butterfly hot dog where it's like cut in half and grilled open things? Mm. That's the best kind, yeah. in my opinion. Mm. Maybe not the best. There's good. No, no, I, I see what you're saying, though. We won't waste your whole. Time no, no. I mean, we so could. Wait, you gotta do it. I mean, we them. could. Like There's when you're important topics. It's hand. very yeah. important. <laughs> see, um, <laughs> we were we were trying to like grill up um vegetarian dogs by the fire, and we didn't do this. But later, somebody told me you're supposed to cut, like, all the sides on the stick right so the hot dog you make all these slits mm-hmm. spider it dog? starts yeah it starts curling up spider i don't dog. think spider that's specific dog. to vegetarian dog. no no, <laughs> but, no it's but, not like we should have been doing that that was the context of the story we doing doing but i was at a yeah. hot dog place yesterday and you could only get vegetarian hot dogs if they were the open face one every other one wasn't an option interesting that one was so there's something there there's something there yeah. i mean it's probably just veggies take longer to cook I yeah. Think so. yeah yeah because the fake not meat doesn't take long yeah, right? yeah. Like the, and not the veggies, the actual hot dogs. Yeah. Mm. That are just like, <laughs> what's in a hot dog? No, we're not doing this. That's not the question. Yeah. Pass it. Pass it, yeah. Not an option. Key reading. Yeah. No, don't do it. I mean, the real question is, where's the billboard? I don't know. Uh, yo, it's, um, <laughs> I, I, have, I have the text. Yeah. I was going to say, it changed locations a bunch of times because we were trying to get a spot. Like, because the billboard thing, like, it's leasing and it's complicated and you have to wait for a spot to be finished before a new thing can go up. And we were trying to get it for Arts Week. And this is like the Kevin Hart mm-hmm. Like, I got a checking and a savings and it takes, it takes yeah, two no, days to get truly, the billboard it's up. Hard. It's hard. Like, so it's, it's, it's a big process. It's Main Street East, Graham Avenue. So, like, basically on your way to Ottawa. Can it's I like just past the Delta. Can I see it right now? Um... This is this is what I, the billboard. I might have insider like, information. No, this is what <laughs> this that, might be your setup. <laughs> this is the like photo of the actual billboard. I like it. It's a good spot. It's across the street from a pizza pizza, so you already know like there's traffic. Clear, vi- and you know if Michael St. Jean had his stuff there, this is yeah. like yeah. we're up there with him. The the Michael Saint Jean. the chokehold that the real estate industry has on the billboards in the city is insane. Yeah, and all the print. There are the print. It's killers. everywhere. Mm-hmm. And I think that was kind of the goal. It was like, how do we, like all these billboards, they take up so much space that we kind of just ignore them. It's like, how do we, how do we take up visual space back for art, right? Yeah. And this is like a perfect, like pairing because it is a call to the public to just call this number. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like it's not a an ad where you're like come out to our event or do this no. thing. It's like just do it right now where yeah. you are. You could call the phone. It's also like really. We, we really try to have our programming like rooted in um, in like accessibility and putting the arts back into public space because a lot of a lot of arts in general are like, like exist in institutions where you know people from like lower income neighborhoods don't feel like they have access to these places and it's like how can we how can we take art out of these institutions and just put them back into regular everyday life so our original event was we had 
we used to do poetry in laundromats and it, we didn't close the laundromats. It was like people were doing their laundry and we were performing in the laundromats. And then we've done like pop-ups in bus shelters, parking garages, like it's, but it's about integrating with the city at large. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like locations where people already congregate. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like they're already yeah. hanging out at the laundromat for yeah. a select amount of time, right? Like yeah. there's Art, nothing to do while you wait like for your laundry. Art shouldn't feel so so separate from everyday people. It's mm -hmm. the goal is that it's just becomes a part of your everyday life. Yeah, I like mm -hmm. that. That's a big thing I talk to people about with like just like B2B business or like just doing graphic design stuff. It's like I try to take out as much like business jargon as possible. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm like I want it to be as easily translatable to someone who has no idea about my industry at all, right? Mm -hmm. It's just like make it so we can communicate easily. Yeah. No, I really like that that it's these open spaces. Now right now where the space is. Where our space like where, where our studio is? is? If you have yeah, we're mm -hmm. we're on James Street. Uh we're above Far Side, the bar mm -hmm. Far Side. Uh, best landlords in the world. Shout out Farside. Yep. Shout out Farside. Shout out. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, Saved we the capacity. Saved the capacity of Farside with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like <laughs> <laughs> that was, also that was true. a crazy era. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, we um, we we try to have events like every week or two. Um, our next like one that will be advertised is we're having we have like a, a dj collective called trema that's that's in our space as well okay and we're gonna have like a dj night we did one two months ago we're gonna have another one where it's like a dj night with um places mm -hmm. who has places a show here yeah, yeah so places is like helping it's tonight at 10 o'clock or something right yeah there's yeah. shows later yeah. yeah but um jeff and and some pals are gonna dj and we're gonna do like a art installation and that's going to be next Thursday, I believe. Yeah, June twentieth. Yeah. Um, it's called Surround Sound. Surround Sound. You know, in the Monday Press in the headquarters. Monday Press studio. Yeah. Is it free? Yes, sir. Well, pay, what you, pay what you can. Pay <laughs> what you can. That's <laughs> nice because yeah. you're not turning nobody away. Yeah. yeah. No. But we we do still we just still have to keep the lights on so like yeah. you know bring five bucks yeah yeah they're yeah. like don't just pay nothing yeah you can pay, <laughs> you can pay more than nothing yeah, yeah. two cents ideally mm -hmm. maybe not two cents um, a and then goes along. we have we have another thing that we haven't announced yet we're having like mm -hmm. a little secret show this Saturday that's going to be uh, the hardcore band Cease we're doing like a music video filming for them at the studio that's it mm -hmm. so that's going to be Saturday night at mm -hmm. eight. But we're not actually officially announcing it until like noon the day of. Except, yeah. it's Except announced. right here. It's announced, it's announced here. This is Except what you right would here. Call a Because Design Matters exclusive. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah, so that's going to be Saturday night. Uh, bring your friends, get crazy. The cameras are there for a reason. Yeah, looking for action. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Bring that action. <laughs> yeah. Okay, speaking of action, it's Pride Month. Mm. Mm -hmm. Can I hit you guys with a couple of Pride facts? Yeah, sure. Yeah, please. Please. It's more like pride history. Mm. Maybe just LGBTQ history. Do you know who invented the synthesizer? Is it like, it's not <laughs> Moog, right? Like the... How do you know this? <laughs> yeah, it's Moog, right? It's Moog, yeah. Um, yo, I love Plantasia. <laughs> it's Andrew G. Moog. It's pronounced Moog. Moog. Damn. Damn! <laughs> Hit him with the correction. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right, though. I was, I was looking for him to do some music shit. Yeah. You know? <laughs> a gay man. Wow. Shout out, Pride. Yeah. You like peanut butter? Yes, sir. I, I yeah. do. Yeah. When's the last time you ate peanut butter? Um, like not too long ago. If it was in a cup this mm. week. <laughs> in a cup? Yeah. We Reese's peanut butter cups. Come on. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <cup. laughs> <laughs> <a> glass cup. <laughs> yeah, that's better. I am glad it was that way. <laughs> <laughs> Not just out of a glass. Yeah. I was like, well, I'd be like, what's the point? <laughs> Why put <laughs> it in another vessel? Just get it in the container. Yeah. yeah. Does it then become a sandwich? You know. <laughs> 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 if it's in two vessel with two cups. You might be on something. That's a whole nother like pizza yeah. pocket thing. You, know? yeah. you can't even get into oh, it. Oh no. <laughs> um, when's the last time you ate peanut butter straight out of the jar? Oh, I can't do that. That's too much. Yeah, I don't know. Probably a couple months ago. A couple months ago? Yeah. Wow, that's weird. Uh, like six months. <laughs> just turn and be like, <laughs> 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 what? what are you doing? <laughs> okay. George Washington Carver. Mm. Gay man. Invented peanut butter. Wow. Now you know. Now you I'm, know. Was there a pride, uh, Proud Family episode on that guy? 
Is it, is, <sighs> Maybe. Is it a Pride family episode? A Pride family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll try to tie it in. I'll try to tie it in. <laughs> it was good. I see what it's a yeah, segue right there. Yeah. Yeah. There was another invention, too. And it was steam-powered. I don't got the date. I can't remember. Hmm. But it was a steam-powered machine. And its original purpose was to um, loosen up, like, sore muscles. But the perverts turned it into a vibrator. With steam? You <laughs> know what I'm saying? Huh. That's why. That sounds dangerous. That sounds, like, precarious. <laughs> gay invention. The gay man, too. Vibrator. Wait, did the, hold on. Did the gay man invent the steamer part or turn it into a vibrator? I'm not sure. I feel like the... Not the latter. Yeah, he, he just... Original event stuff. inventor. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. He, the just, he was just, into steam. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So As a profession. Sore muscles. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe sore muscles. Is the profession. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. He's on some chiropractor type. Have you ever had any gay experiences? All the time. Many. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like football? Oh, no, no. I played football not, in high school, no. but I, I thought like, that was a different question. Yeah, <laughs> yeah sure. <laughs> it's just like kissing I thought you meant like you being know? gay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a trick question. Because the answer is yes. <laughs> Both, it's like both yes? things can be true. Moving on. Mm. <laughs> I bumped your camera. Let's make sure you're on focus. So you can't avoid these questions. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Where's the nearest tent to your house? Mm, pro- well, I like live kind of like Wentworth in Maine, so probably like the like in the mountain edge. Mm-hmm. They're like, those are intense. Yeah. No pun. Yeah, um, that's a location that's tough. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's the same for me as well because I live up the mountain. So the closest mm. would be like the mountain brow. There's quite a bit of parks and also City Hall near my place. Mm. Victoria Park is right there. Um, and then, yeah, City Hall. So quite, quite a few tents around me. It's like my bridge question for like a more serious topic that will come at a later date. It's like the at the a po- later date. Is the there point is like two? there's like the point entry for yeah. me to start talking about the the housing crisis in the city. Great. Let's nice. yeah. assassinate yeah. people where the nearest tent is. You know. Mm-hmm. Oh, it like it ends here for us. Yeah, it ends oh, here. Okay. You guys don't even oh. gotta dive into it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. we, we, we were like we were like okay, let's talk about the yeah. housing crisis. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. probably like overarching. Do you have any no- Do you have any notes about it? No, it's uh, uh, it sucks. It's yeah, pr- uh, it sucks. We yeah. need to Good stop start. like giving police money and um, start giving the people money. I thought you said start. Oh, <laughs> stop, stop. These cops got to crack down. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's yeah. Yeah. it's like one of the, if not the biggest issue facing Hamilton right now. Yeah, I'd agree. Yeah, it's, it's major for sure. Yeah. I don't know how to fully tackle the conversation, but tonight at seven p.m., if you go to Playhouse Theater, which mm. you shouldn't. You just listen to the show and not go to play the theater. Hmm. There is a premiere of a movie that is surrounding the LTR and how that affected the yes. whole housing issue. I can't remember what it's called. Oh. But it's happening in 20 minutes. If you're listening, on okay. Radio. Well, this I has think been we exciting. Go. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and it's free. Damn. You go straight. That sounds am- okay. like a really important film. But it sounds like y'all are busy preparing for Arkraw. Hmm. I, We're I, trying. Yeah. I'd prefer to go see a movie. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we can stay up late. Yeah. Yeah. What are the plans for our call? We're just like, we're promoting the phone number. That's like the big thing right now. Yeah. So we're going to have like a big banner on the front of the, the studio. And then we're mm-hmm. going to be playing like recordings from the phone line out the mm-hmm. windows. That's a good idea. So yeah, like, get like a sample. Yeah, yeah. Doing our little version of the billboard, but in our studio space yeah. or at, outside of our studio just space. Just because like the thing that we're sort of like trying to do right now because the billboard is like in the east end yeah um because there was literally no billboards available downtown because real estate mm-hmm. agents because real estate agents yeah. own all of them yeah. um so we're just trying to like get things up on like james street and stuff for like pedestrian traffic and yeah there's so, so much traffic tomorrow yeah so we're doing like flyers we're putting up posters we're gonna have like the banner on the front of the building and yeah it's mm-hmm. a good idea you got that the boots on the ground marketing try it can't uh, all be on instagram yeah uh, mm-hmm. we started with a lot of flyers like yeah it was a lot of um posters and it was lots of flyers because we didn't have the same instagram following like when we started yeah. out right yeah. so it was like like literally like putting up tiny sheets of paper at the brain 
Yeah. And I mean, I think like after the pandemic, everybody was kind of looking for more like tactile things. Yeah. And like when, when I was coming up like in the punk scene and stuff, you would always like promoters would give out flyers to the bands and you'd like go yeah. hand out the yeah. flyers at school and stuff. And that always felt like a cool thing. And then when we started doing the flyers for our poetry pop-ups and stuff, people were like, oh, this feels like when I was a kid and people used to give me flyers. It's a different type of like feeling you give mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think what I always promote to people, I think your billboard's like a prime example of it. To like, even if you take a flyer, give it to some people, and then post the photo of the real flyer yeah. Yeah. on Instagram, yeah. that gets more traction than just the graphic. Yeah, totally, it definitely does. You want to see that it like existed in the real world. Yeah, yeah. tangible. I think that goes a long way. So we've like, actually, I'm not gonna lie, there's been a couple of times where, probably one time, where we were like late to getting our prints ready for, for like handing out on the street, and the event was like two days later or whatever. And we were like take a photo of the flyer and put it up yeah. and we'll try but like <laughs> yeah, we'll the photo of whenever. the flyer went up before the flyers Been went there. up <laughs> yeah. you gotta do what you can do that's yeah. it no, I mean, we're, just, we're just trying now if you had 30 seconds and you're gonna promote one thing that needs more attention in the city that's not yourselves go I'm bad at time constraints <laughs> somebody else go <laughs> after you sir Start the talking. phone is coming Start out talking. This is dead air on Start radio. Talking. That's 20 seconds. No, no it's coming. <laughs> it's coming talking. up. <laughs> We're Queer halal time. They've been doing a lot of, um, you know, food drives. They've been getting a lot of, uh, a lot of like, fundraisers, you know. There's a lot of people volunteering for crazy grassroots stuff under that title, Queer halal time. Um, they're doing Queer ham Muslim Pride events this month, you know. So, like... Mm. This is completely unrelated to us, but, like, they, they're doing some crazy stuff. And people really put, like, their whole, whole bodies into making incredible food for the community under yeah. that That's amazing. that organization. This has been the best use of this 30 seconds thus far. <laughs> <laughs> Just getting everybody else. Everybody else is like, yo, my friend has a mixtape. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to all, just, all those clips in. <laughs> my, uh, I got, uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's better than all my pride promo. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> now, how long have you been doing Monday Press? Um, it's kind of existed in a few different forms. So, like, it started summer of 2021 was when we started book club. So, like, book club happened because I used to, like, sit in bars and read by myself, and I've, everybody called me book guy. And then people were like, I don't know how you just like sit around and read. Like, isn't it weird? Like people, and I was like, well, you could just do it. And they were like, oh, let's read together. And so every Monday we started meeting and reading books at the brain. That's dope. Which then we found out people that read books usually like writing, which mm -hmm. then turned into poetry events. And that was when we adopted the name Monday because we always met on Mondays. And then we got a studio at Farside uh, about a year ago this month so start of june a year ago, year ago. Wow. so like monday in its current inception is about a, a year mm -hmm. but like full scale yeah, like, coming up on two i like the like natural progression of it right? yeah and it's like it just was happening yourself yeah. and then it burst into this well it wasn't day. it wasn't like an uh, it wasn't a preconceived idea it was just like <laughs> a thing that happened and got bigger and bigger and yeah. and like i think i first heard of it when you guys were doing the, the laundromat mm -hmm. that was yeah. like when i saw it and then you guys did a little like tour of going around as well right yeah a couple of us went uh we did about a week and a half in canada evan was a part of the week you came on a couple of them right no, no. abdi did though yeah abdi did yeah but we did yeah we did about a week in canada and then we did two weeks through the states um mm. our with another one of our members named bella and then um our friend edie from detroit who was just here this past week and was our featured reader for for our monthly event at the studio oh that's sweet yeah now can anyone come out and read poems on you have Monday going on? Uh, so, yeah. So, Maybe the specific. first Monday of every month, we have Shower Thoughts, and Evan's going to talk about that. Yeah. Um, shower Thoughts <coughs> is our, like, monthly staple um, programming where uh, first Monday of every month, we have a featured reader. So, this month, it was Edie mm -hmm. from Detroit. Uh, so they take up the first chunk of time, and then they lead into a workshopping event. Um, and then, so it's obviously a lot of it has to do with sort of the influence of the reader, but you can really come and workshop anything at that time. 
And then at the end, we have an open mic. So, like, the whole idea of Shower Thoughts is that anybody can come and, one, appreciate and, like, listen to uh, an experienced poet, reader, workshop their own ideas, and perform at the end. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, and you don't, we, you don't have to perform what you've worked on that day. You can bring stuff from whatever, yeah. months ago, anytime. Yeah. yeah. I think a lot of people just need that, like initial setting to be able to go up for the first time or like mm. do yeah. something in front of a an audience right yeah. because mm. a lot of people that like the biggest barrier is like working on it yourself and at home to then yeah. like taking it to that first audience and there's not always like receptive open mics for poetry and different things like that yeah. right there's like rock open mics all the time where you just like yeah. come up with your band but this is a completely different thing exactly mm -hmm. yeah and that's sort of the thing is like well, we're all also just working on stuff during mm -hmm. that day. So there's no, like, barrier. Like, you can come in and read something you just wrote that's silly that you were just inspired to write in the moment or literally anything. Uh, it's for the, it's like that bridge to, like, get people out of their shelves or practice their work and their art. And yeah. Well, something you wrote at Shower Thoughts is now it, on the phone line. Yeah, actually mm -hmm. two. Two things that I wrote at Shower Thoughts are on the phone line. What number? Oh, one is 97, oh, so I close. believe. Uh, I don't remember the other one, but if we you're can, listening, maybe call 97. Yeah. When can they come out to the next shower thoughts? So that would be the first Monday uh, in July. Okay. I can get you the date. They'll figure it out. They yeah. Got the, they got the calendar in their phone. It's the oh, first. Yeah. Oh, the first. It's the, the first. first. Holy. Yeah. Holy. Get out there. First is on a Monday. Yeah. That's a, a celebration for somebody, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who, though. Yeah, I don't know who. Probably like a smaller nation. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, I really appreciate you guys coming out here. I need one thing for you. From you. Yeah. Do we have to get in go. really tight? <laughs> We're tight. That's not even it. Could you say this is a Because Design Matters exclusive? Absolutely not. Perfect. <laughs> I'm going to use that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what do we say all at once? This is going to be hard. Sure. Okay. Wait, let's do like a count of three, right? Like a one, a two, a one, two, three. This, this is, is a Because Design Matters. No. So you, you can't. You said a one, two, three count in. And, and then he did like a. He did like a whole jazz. A jazz. <laughs> like what? I was about to go on the. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what you get. Yeah. I like <laughs> it. Now just tell me who you are and that this has been Because Design Matters. There we go. Okay. We're so, Monday Press. And this has been Because Design Matters. I appreciate you coming out. That was better. Thank we'll you. We'll do this again when there's another event or something else to talk about. We'll sure. come back around. For now, call the hotline. 365-675-1800. Mm. Right now billboard go see it address tbd poetry is alive and well mm. radio maybe not huh? <laughs> <laughs> our next guest stealth will be with us very shortly this is his new single coming out at midnight we're monday press and this has been because design matters <laughs>